Hi, my name is Elena Selenok, and today I wanted to talk about how the internet is changing the fashion industry. So first of all, we all know that retail is huge. As a matter of fact, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, it was $3.1 trillion in 2010, of which 80% was spent by women. We buy a lot of stuff. Online shopping has also grown at a very high rate, at an average of 19% a year for the last few years, even despite the recession. However, fashion industry has not been disrupted the same way that the music and, interest, and, and news industries have been in the last 10 years. But that situation is changing. According to a study by the Wall Street Journal done recently in 2009, um, shoppers actually have more faith in information that they find out online than in any information that they obtain from a sales clerk or another source. As a matter of fact, there's an overwhelming majority, over 90% of people, trust online information over offline. What I think, however, is the most interesting observation about a fashion and the internet is that we're not seeing entirely new consumer behavior. Actually, what we're seeing is a shift of existing offline behavior to online. And we're also seeing a group of very interesting technology companies that are enabling that transition. Probably most of you have heard about Guild Group. Guild Group is a high-end designer um, retailer that allows you to shop for high-end goods at a fraction of a retail price. We all have a bargain, and of course, Guild Group allows us to buy that online at the privacy of our own home. Um, also, what it enables you to do is have access to private, exclusive sample sales, something that until recently was only available to a small portion of a metropolitan retail market, and only those with access to designers or stylist friends. Another interesting startup with a very interesting business model is Rent the Runway. As their name suggests, they allow you to rent rather than buy the latest fashions. And a very interesting offline use case here is um, an on offline behavior of borrowing a dress from a girlfriend. If you're going to an event, you don't want to spend a couple of hundred dollars um, to buy an item that you're only going to wear once. What you can do is, buy, um, is you can borrow an item from a girlfriend and wear it and then give it back to her. So Rent the Runway allows you to do the same thing, except the dress is dry cleaned and they have a much better selection. And a far more, uh, far more glamorous, but probably a little bit less realistic example is an example of a celebrity being lent a dress to wear on the red carpet. Don't we all want to feel like celebrities sometimes? Tumblr, of course, is another hot internet startup and truly an internet phenomena with over 13 billion monthly page views. They're a blogging platform that allows you to save and share inspirational images, similar to tearing pages out of a magazine and saving them for later consumption or to share with friends. Tumblr also acts as a fashion diary, and models, designers, brands, and fashionable neighbors across the street are using it to post inspirational images, to share their daily outfits, and also to show you what they might inspire them today or in the prior years. It creates a timeline, and if you want to know what Hillary wrote, this is actual, her, her actual Tumblr, uh, if you want to know what Hillary wrote or Lady Gaga or your fashionable neighbor is wearing, you can just go online and it's available there with one click of a button. You don't need to read a glossy magazine or schedule a lengthy phone call to describe every detail. So Pinterest, another interesting startup, is also focusing on um, saving and sharing um, your images. It allows users to, share, uh, to save or pin, that's the name Pinterest, um, images that inspire them, recipes, or perhaps other interesting content, and then share them with friends later. Um, it also appeals to a community of scrapbooking enthusiasts who can um, do things like create boards or scrapbooks for their wedding, baby showers, or to simply share items with their friends. It's very simple to use, it's very straightforward, and it has been growing exponentially over the last year. Now, a somewhat different take on inspirational mood boards is done by Polyvore. Inspirational mood boards are a perennial favorite with a fashion set, and Polyvore allows you to create collages of things by not just simply collecting items, but actually mixing and matching them. In an offline world, you would take push pins and tape and Polaroids and a cork board, and then you would create an inspirational board uh, for a designer, for a collection, or simply for a stylist to share with their clients. Now, Polyvore enables you to do that same thing online. 
And what's even more interesting, it also allows um, aspiring fashionistas to mix and match items to create outfits. And users can browse an extensive database of items on Polyvore to find the styles, colors, and trends that they like. Now, Clothy is a company that I'm a bit partial to. Uh, it's actually my startup. It's a fashion technology uh, platform that allows users to create virtual closets and outfits and share them with friends to give and receive style advice. Clothia also allows you to try on clothes virtually. It's, again, it's the same behavior that's very typical for offline by going to a fitting room or holding an item to yourself and looking in the mirror. And we allow you to do that same thing online. That's an actual image of me trying on a dress. Um, and what I consider one of the most interesting applications of offline behavior transitioning into online is YouTube videos. Shoppers love to tell their friends about their fabulous fashion finds. So imagine telling about those finds to a community of tens of millions of friends, like Dulce Candy, pictured here, is doing. She's a YouTube phenom, and her videos of style hauls have generated over 100 million page views. Another hugely popular YouTube star is a makeup guru, Michelle Fan. She went from doing friends makeup, which is a very typical offline behavior again, to videotaping her makeup lessons to international stardom. Now, imagine um, she, her videos actually got over 470 million page views, close to half a billion, and her community of online followers is close to 1.7 million. That's a small country or a large army of fashionistas, depending how you look at it. Apologize. There are many ways in which the internet is helping consumers enjoy the same behaviors online as they have enjoyed offline for years. Now, what trends can we expect to see in the near future? First of all, online shopping will grow significantly. I think it will be about 20 to 25% of all online spending in about five years. We will also see deeper connections between offline and online, as we see more retailers and companies integrate online with in-store, with mobile, with offline experiences. So imagine going into a store, finding an item you like, virtually trying it on, buying it on your phone, and then having it shipped to a convenience of your own home overnight. Wouldn't that be fabulous? I think the internet will also pave the way for more immersive, social, and interactive fashion experiences. So whether it's connect, or mobile, or social sharing, or group buying, or enabling consumers to open up their own storefront with a click of a button, internet will definitely enable us to do that. And finally, there's a new wave of amazing technology companies and fashion technology companies that are coming out specifically out of New York that will tap into existing offline behaviors and will really expand upon them. Uh, we're truly at the forefront of the fashion technology revolution, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Thank you.